it's that time once again we are headed back out on Silver Ridge Peaks for our Black Bear grind and I've got to say even though we haven't gotten to do this as much lately as when the Great One Black Bear came out I still just refuse to give up on this about 5,000 total kills between the previous grind and then the grind since the reset it's just too much to give up on I could see maybe just deciding it's not worth it if we only had a couple hundred before the reset but we put too much time into this, so we have to keep coming back out here. I don't know where that guy came from. I did actually hear some footsteps, but Bison and Black Bear, at least to me, sound pretty similar when they're running. But everything I heard was going the other way. I do think, unfortunately, we should have taken that shot a little bit earlier to maybe have a chance at a gold. Going down quicker than I thought, and him turning around probably just gave us an opportunity to maybe get one, but... Again, kind of going with the same strategy that we always do, starting out at these two lakes because it takes a lot of time to run around them, and just letting Black Bear in ideally these spots, but mostly the other spots, get into their zones before we get there. And even with the right long shot, really doesn't matter, he was a silver in the end, but I think even though we had to come back here, we could pretty much see all the way around that lake, so we can move on to the other one. Lots of stuff around here. I didn't see that down there before, so I guess it just got here, but another one there, a couple of females. Now, that is the place that we shot the cinnamon last time, so maybe that's the reason there's a couple. And, interestingly enough, the second bear we encounter has the exact same estimates, up to 19 score again. And, I'll be honest, there's one thing that I'm noticing, as I think... I don't know if he dropped or not, his health was dropping really quickly, but when we look at the map... There are a couple of lakes, obviously, that are the main lakes for this grind, and that's a really good thing to have a couple of lakes to really focus on. It can really help kind of make a grind efficient, but we don't have a great way of clearing hunting pressure, and I'm still not sure how we're going to go about that, because it sort of becomes a problem if we start to delete zones. I have no idea how we just did that, but I grabbed the 454 today, basically for this lake, I thought it might be a cool way to take some of these guys down. Kind of helps if we can hit them, though. I think he got up the hill, so we're going to have to go and chase that one. But, yeah, like, when we start to do this and start to risk deleting zones, it might make it a little bit tougher. So, there may have to come a time, and, and quite frankly, it may have to be after this run, that we come up with something else to do, another grind in another area of the map, or something to get rid of this pressure. So finally kind of getting caught up here. I actually think it might make more sense at this angle to use the 454 again. There would have been a chance anyway of maybe getting into like the liver. Now we didn't. And maybe, just maybe, depending on if he goes broadside again, we can attempt to get a lung. I mean, he's just not cooperating. That was a completely blind shot, but it will bring him down, I think. Just might take some time. You know it's bad when I can't even find it with the dog. It didn't die, so unfortunately I guess we're going to have to let that one go because I mentioned efficiency a couple minutes ago. This is the exact opposite of that, so I guess maybe next time we'll get him. At least we did have the level 6 we shot from far away. He did not drop, by the way. And again, a silver at 18.9. So real quick, I think we're going to kennel the dog again just to have less kind of potential things in our way. And then we'll jump to the next lake. It is a level 6 Black Bear Day, apparently. 17 to 19 again. And actually, that one kind of spawned in as we backed up beyond that 200 meter distance, which is why that tent is placed where it is. Basically, to kind of be as efficient as possible, at least I hope, between these two lakes, spawning here, running up to this lake, and going back down seems to be a pretty good way to check them both and not end up spooking stuff. So, we got that one. And again, we're leaving a bear lay to hopefully kind of speed things up. And to maybe no one's surprise, the next bear we encounter is a level 6, and at least a different estimate, 18 to 21 this time. And again, that's why I brought the 454. We end up with a lot of fleeing black bears, and I think that's just a product of hunting at night. You just can't see them that well. On the plus side, though, maybe getting back on track as far as shooting, and we got a gold this time at 19.89. Even better, the first shot was actually good. I thought we messed that one up and needed the follow-up, but only the one bear here this time, which again, probably not that bad given the hunting pressure situation, but typically this is a spot that has produced quite a few. 
Now this is a bear that I expected to see, although I didn't know there was going to be a level 5 with it. Probably a little problematic, we only have one round loaded right now, but we may be able to manage. Now with the 300, one bad shot always takes a bear down. Try to hit it again to maybe help that out, because I can hear the 5 moving around. I don't think it got up there yet, but it was in the last video where we had a track from a pretty low weight SMF bear, which no doubt was that level 4 that we were unable to find. Where did the five get to though? Unless he went down there. I'm not sure how he would have gotten away. I think maybe he did actually kind of sneak up the hill. They were both 102 to 165. So it actually could have been either one of those bears that we had the track of last time. We'll get this one and try to run the other one down as well, but not gonna spend the amount of time we did on the one that we hit before. Actually hit that one three times, but at least it kind of saved on some tracking. That should be the right one. I mean, it can't really go anywhere, so I think we'll just run at it. It was naturally going to try to run back at us anyway, because that seems to be the direction that things run down here. Hitting it, though, would be probably a decent idea. That'll help. Neither one of those shots were great, but it's going to take it down one way or another. I think we just shot it in the spinal cord. But we're seeing that effect more and more. This particular area is just getting really, really bright for hunting pressure. And again, three shots. That was the spinal cord to bring him down. A couple of small ones, so not a big deal. But I don't know. Was the 454 actually a good idea? I'm starting to think that two 300s probably would have been better. We don't typically have these kind of issues with hitting running bears and having to run after them with completely missing. For whatever reason, though, I keep on going back to the 454 for shots like this. I mean, the thing is, the hunter penetration stat of that ammo when you get a far less than ideal shot angle like that, you would think that's kind of what you want. And maybe that time it worked. I'm not sure. That guy, though, I think we may have hit a tree. I'm not sure because he didn't react right. It could have been just an odd timing. We'll have to see. There even is still all level sixes today. It's so odd. It's one thing to see a bunch of sixes, but other than the four and five, I think every one has been a six. I do, though, see Vital Blood, so the second time, well, it sort of worked. It would have been his silver regardless, but actually what happened was we shot, like, almost through the fur on the back. That close to hitting somewhere just, like, up in the high den somewhere, but into the brain. No complaints, I guess that's a lucky thing that'll happen on occasion. We did not hit the other bear, so I think we are going to want to run it down, because this is one of the last lakes that's got any sort of consistency to it. And we are actually pretty close to the end of Black Bear Drink Time. Again, far from the most efficient run. And I plan to do another one here before we wrap up, but we're only at like 10 bears. Typically, it's like 12 to 15, something like that from the areas that we've checked. And of course, one got away. I'm sure we spooked one or two that we ended up not seeing because, again, it is dark, but not exactly the best. And I think when we know there's one out there, it's probably good to go and get it. But level 6 number, who knows what, a bunch of them. Another gold this time, 19.45, so maybe starting to trend in the right direction. We'll see what this other one is, if we can find him. I think these are his tracks, but not the fresh ones. That's our guy, kind of running in an odd direction, but as long as we can avoid the trees this time and maybe get a shot off with a little bit of breath remaining, we should be able to get him with that broadside angle. We just need to spot him again. The hill is not helping. I think we're going to go 454 again. Not that it's been great for us, but I kind of think it may help. That time it worked well. It's a little faster getting a second shot off with this than the 300. Not that we can't get a second shot before they tend to get going again, but worked out was a silver regardless. And I think real quick, we're going to go and check again the lakes that we checked first. Just because naturally there's going to be more time for bears to get into every other lake. Just want to make sure nothing snuck in after we left. And one did, not only that, the biggest bear that we've seen today, sadly a level 7 and not even a max weight estimate 7, but maybe more sadly than that, I think we're going to have to sort of mess it up on purpose. There's just no shot angle there into a lung. I mean, it's going down quick, but pretty sure it's not going to be a vital. Again, not worried about that, especially on a run where we're just not getting that many bears. That will be bear number 11, so it's kind of evened out, but... Still, I'd like to be a little above that. 
Even with the medium bleed rate though, we actually hit intestines twice, so no gold. First one to score over 20 today, and hopefully not going to be the last with another run coming, but unless there are any more down there, and of course that's one of the ones that we saw earlier, I think 11 bears is going to be our total. And before we do another run, just kind of based on what I'm seeing here, I think we have some hunting pressure related matters to attend to first. That'll work. Now that's a promising start. Got a max weight level 7 as the first bear of our second run. So 45 minutes, whatever it is to do a full run of absolutely nothing. We get out here for two minutes and we already have a better one. So a much better start here. A 21.29 scoring black bear. A little better to get going that way. And you may be wondering... If the tripods work so well to reduce pressure like we had for the bighorn, why not just do that for the black bear in the areas that we are having the problems? And the answer is really we have to move to find them so much they're never in the same spot that I don't think we can use them. I think at least that that is the bear that got away earlier. Now we did start a new session so he is back to full health, but hopefully this time if we can get him spotted we can actually get him down. That should do. Not exactly ideal, but at least we're not going to be tracking him for however long that was, 15 minutes or so, between going get the dog and actually following the tracks. But he, after all that, was a silver anyway at 19.16, gold is 19.2, so just missed it. But at least we managed to get him. I don't know, he's the only one down here this time. This has been another one of those spots that really is the reason we can even get double digit bears per run. Might make it kind of tough now. This right here is one of the reasons that I kind of just think sometimes running at bears is a better move. Because you just can't see them. And when they are hidden in the reeds like this, I think it'd be very possible if you did just kind of crouch or walk around to actually not alert them, have them not stand up and be visible, and then just go by thinking there's no bears around. That really, I do think, can be a bit of a problem, but we got that one. There was another one that popped up, though, and even despite the fact that we have spooked that, it took a while to find it. It's, unsurprisingly, a level 6, 17 to 19. Biggest surprise of the day has been how many of those there were, but I actually don't have a clue what this was. Actually, a level 6 made gold, at least, so that's a plus. And as we go over here to track this one down, I think... Another six. That one's going to get down a bit though, so we'll have to go and find that, but I think probably somewhat expectedly, some of this second run has been cut out to avoid getting super repetitive, but it's been largely the same. Finding some bears running at us, being able to take them out with the 454 or 300, and just kind of slowly accruing numbers, but I don't think we're going to get as many here, and that was expected after we got to this spot. Unless there are a fair few down in this area, I think we're going to be at 8 or 9, which is kind of worryingly low, but we'll see where the rest of it gets us. That, we would have messed it up anyway, but was 0 0.01 off of being a gold. I mean, this is one way to find it. I don't know how all of a sudden is right there, because we were not doing good at tracking. Didn't do too good at shooting either. Probably just the way that it's gone will, will have ended up messing up a gold and... Actually, was that second shot a vital? It was, it was a liver shot. It would have been a gold right on the gold marker, but I went ahead and counted on the way down here. That's bear number eight for this run, and again, unless there's gonna be a couple around here, we're definitely gonna end up in single digits. You know, that's kind of encouraging. We're down here at the Mule Deer Outpost. Could it happen again? I can't imagine that there would be any chance. There's only one bear here. Oh, two bears. 
it'll be interesting. It'll be really interesting to keep an eye on this spot. I don't think that it became what it was in the previous grind because, you know, of, of any kind of thing that we did. I think there were just a bunch of bears here, and I don't think there's enough bears in the general area to ever get to that point where they all drink here. But it's an easy spot to kind of grind. If we end up with three or four down here, maybe that starts to make the difference. There were none up at the two lakes that we checked, and of course we had killed a decent male as the first bear of the run, so at least that one had already made it into its spot, and I just wanted to check some other areas and see if maybe there was something that we were missing, and best I can tell, right now not really. Now, I talked before about having run this entire area, there are some bears down there, maybe six or so, but none were very big, and spots like that that just take forever to hunt, and when it's easy for the bears to end up escaping, I kind of find that it's best to just leave them untouched. If we're not shooting anything there, if it eventually fills up with bears and, you know, every week, every two weeks we run it and make sure there's not a great one standing there, eventually it gets to the point where there's just not going to be any more bears, and then we can disregard it. I don't know where else the male bears are though. Like, there's not 10 on the map, there's way more than that, and there's not 16 or whatever it is counting that area down there. We have to be missing something, and I'm just not sure where it is. Like, I've checked up here where we put the tent in like our second video, I've checked these kind of areas, they gotta be somewhere. I'm just not too sure where to actually check, but two runs in, another 20 bears, I think counting that one exactly 20 bears on our two runs, and at least we're making progress, again hopefully much like the Red Deer Great one, with this reset it won't take as many kills, and maybe even with a lower kill total per run, it won't take that long. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so as always thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.